Have you ever wondered if there's a single thread that ties together all the world's religions and spiritual traditions? I stumbled upon this thought-provoking concept while diving into the rabbit hole of philosophical discussions online. The idea that there might be a perennial philosophy, a universal wisdom at the heart of all spiritual beliefs, is as fascinating as it is controversial. So dear humans, buckle up as we embark on an intellectual and mystical journey through the corridors of perennial wisdom. The notion of perennial philosophy posits that common themes recurring across world religions illuminate universal truths about reality, humanity, and consciousness. This isn't just idle speculation. Marsilio Ficino, a Renaissance thinker, sought to merge Hermeticism with Greek and Christian thought, believing in a divine wisdom, the Prisca Theologia, present in all ages. Giovanni Pico della Mirandola expanded on this, suggesting that truth could be found across multiple traditions, from the Kabbalah to the Quran, creating a harmony between differing philosophies. This was a bold move, bridging gaps between seemingly disparate worldviews. In the 19th and 20th centuries, this idea evolved further. The transcendentalists like Ralph Waldo Emerson propagated the notion of a metaphysical truth that transcends religious boundaries. Emerson's views were significantly shaped by his reading of Hindu texts, which led him to advocate for an intuitive and experiential approach to spirituality. This era also saw the rise of the Theosophical Society, which spread universalism not only in the Western world, but also influenced spiritual practices in the colonies, blending Eastern and Western spiritual traditions in unprecedented ways. Enter Aldous Huxley, a towering figure who brought perennial philosophy to the masses with his book, The Perennial Philosophy. Huxley was inspired by Neo-Vedanta and his own mystical experiences, often aided by psychedelic substances. He argued that there exists a divine ground of all being, an ineffable truth that can be directly experienced but not fully articulated. This unitive knowledge, Huxley claimed, is the ultimate end of human existence. His work emphasized that despite the diversity of religious doctrines, at their core, they point to the same ultimate reality. In stark contrast to Huxley's universalism, the traditionalist school, spearheaded by René Guénon and later Frithjof Schuon, took a different approach. They argued for a single metaphysical origin of all orthodox religions, rejecting modern syncretism and scientism. According to them, the deviations of modernity obscure the eternal truths preserved in traditional spiritual practices. Sayyid Hossein Nasser, a prominent traditionalist, emphasized that these truths or principles are of divine origin, revealed through various religious figures, and are essential for understanding the metaphysical reality beyond the material world. The roots of perennial philosophy are deeply intertwined with Neoplatonism and the Renaissance's obsession with the theory of forms. Marsilio Ficino, drawing heavily on these traditions, believed that there was an underlying unity to the cosmos, a universal soul or love that binds all of existence. His student, Giovanni Pico della Mirandola, took this further by suggesting a synthesis between various traditions, including Islamic, Jewish, and classical Greek thought. Pico's quest was not just academic, but deeply spiritual, seeking a harmonious integration of all knowledge under a single divine truth. Huxley's perennial philosophy posited that at the core of every religion lies the same divine reality, which he succinctly captured with the Sanskrit phrase tat tvam asi, that thou art. This idea that the Atman, soul, is one with Brahman, the ultimate reality, is a profound assertion that underlines the unity of all existence. 
Huxley argued that mystical experiences, often achieved through practices like meditation, prayer, or even psychedelics, bring individuals into direct contact with this ineffable truth, transcending the boundaries of doctrinal differences. While Huxley and the Universalists focused on the experiential and mystical aspects, the traditionalist school emphasized the metaphysical and doctrinal purity of ancient wisdom. René Guénon's seminal work, The Crisis of the Modern World, lamented the loss of traditional metaphysical knowledge in contemporary society. He and his followers believed that modernity, with its emphasis on materialism and secularism, had severed humanity from the sacred traditions that once guided our understanding of reality. Their solution? A return to the metaphysical principles that underlie all orthodox religions, seen as a bulwark against the chaos of the modern world. In tracing the origins of perennial philosophy, one cannot overlook the Hellenistic period's influence, where cultural exchanges during Alexander the Great's campaigns led to a syncretism of religious ideas. This period saw the blending of Greek, Egyptian, Persian, and Indian spiritual concepts, creating a fertile ground for the development of Neoplatonism. Philosophers like Philo of Alexandria attempted to reconcile Greek rationalism with Jewish theology, paving the way for a more integrated understanding of the divine that would later influence Christian and Islamic thought. Neoplatonism, founded by Plotinus, was pivotal in shaping the perennial philosophy. Plotinus proposed that all of reality emanates from a single, ineffable source he called the One. This idea of a singular origin for all existence resonated deeply with later thinkers and became a cornerstone of perennial thought. Neoplatonism's influence extended through the Middle Ages, affecting Christian, Islamic, and Jewish mysticism. It provided a framework for understanding the divine as both imminent and transcendent, a key concept that perennialists argue is at the heart of all true spiritual traditions. During the Renaissance, the idea of perennial philosophy flourished with thinkers like Marsilio Ficino and Giovanni Pico della Mirandola at its helm. Ficino's work, blending Hermeticism with Greek and Christian thought, sought to uncover a universal theology that spanned ages and cultures. Pico's bold assertion that truth could be found in multiple traditions was revolutionary, suggesting that all religious and philosophical systems were various expressions of a single, underlying truth. This was not just an academic pursuit, but a spiritual mission to find the Prisca Theologia, the ancient theology that unified all knowledge. Aldous Huxley's 20th century revival of perennial philosophy in The Perennial Philosophy built on these Renaissance foundations, but with a modern twist. Influenced by Eastern spirituality, particularly Neo-Vedanta, Huxley emphasized the experiential aspect of divine truth. He believed that through mystical experiences, individuals could directly perceive the divine ground of all existence. This direct, unitive knowledge, he argued, was the common thread running through all spiritual traditions. Huxley's work brought perennial philosophy into contemporary discourse, highlighting the transformative potential of mystical experiences in realizing universal truths. The traditionalist school, reacting against the perceived superficiality of modern universalism, offered a more stringent interpretation of perennial philosophy. Thinkers like René Guénon and Frithjof Schuon insisted on a return to the metaphysical foundations of traditional spiritual practices. They argued that the crises of modernity stemmed from a disconnection with these timeless truths. Traditionalists emphasized that each orthodox religion, while culturally distinct, 
derived from a singular metaphysical source. This perspective rejected the syncretism of Huxley's universalism, instead advocating for the preservation of religious purity and doctrinal integrity. The impact of perennial philosophy on modern spiritual movements cannot be overstated. The Theosophical Society, for instance, played a crucial role in spreading the idea of a universal wisdom underlying all religions. By promoting the study of Eastern and Western esoteric traditions, they helped bridge cultural divides and fostered a more inclusive understanding of spirituality. This movement not only influenced Western audiences, but also had a significant impact on spiritual practices in colonized regions, blending indigenous traditions with universalist ideas. This cross-pollination of spiritual ideas enriched the global spiritual landscape. As we journey through the annals of perennial philosophy, it becomes clear that this school of thought offers a compelling vision of spiritual unity. It challenges the exclusivity of religious dogma and invites a deeper exploration of the commonalities that bind humanity's spiritual endeavors. Whether through the metaphysical rigor of the traditionalist school or the mystical universalism of thinkers like Huxley, perennial philosophy provides a framework for understanding the divine that transcends cultural and historical boundaries. As you ponder these ideas, Remember that the quest for truth is a deeply personal journey, one that ultimately leads to the realization that we are all threads in the same intricate tapestry of existence.